Good morning. I am Mr. Householder, Principal of Talmadge High School. On behalf of the staff of Talmadge High School, I would like to welcome you to our 50th Annual Distinguished Scholars Program. This is an opportunity for us as a school to honor our students of excellence for their hard work and academic success. I would like to thank Ms. Rosalie Ganito, Talmadge High School Counselor, and Mrs. Chris Drennan, Guidance Secretary at Talmadge High School, for their hard work and efforts for organizing the ceremony. I would also like to thank Ms. Lane and Heather Prazer for their help in organizing this event. I would like to recognize Janet Fairhurst and Ann Costco, both secretaries in our district who are retiring this year after many years of service. I would also like to recognize Ms. Cindy Casper, who is our Talmadge High School Teacher of the Year. Most importantly, I would like to recognize the parents and family members who are live streaming with us today, who play such a significant role in laying the foundation for the sex success of their young adults that we are celebrating today. Students, as distinguished scholars, you represent the top 10 of Talmadge High School. You are the one in 10 who has succeeded academically beyond all others. The word distinguished is defined as to be noteworthy, different, set apart. You certainly are all of those things. I want to congratulate each of you for your outstanding academic accomplishment. Jim Rohn, author and motivational speaker, quoted that discipline is a bridge between goals and accomplishments. As distinguished scholars, you have demonstrated your ability to exert discipline when necessary and build that bridge. We congratulate you on your accomplishment and wish you continued success in your future. Now I would like to introduce Hallie Caruso, who will provide her challenge to the underclassmen. Hello everyone, my name is Hallie Caruso and I'm so excited to have the opportunity to speak to you all today. If there is one piece of advice that I could give to you in the grades below me, it would be to believe in your abilities and have confidence in yourself. As I made my way through high school, I was incredibly self-conscious and insecure about myself in school, sports, and even with my friends. The doubt that I had made me perform worse in my soccer games and sometimes in the classroom as well, especially with my math tests. But as I began my senior year, I started to realize that I had the ability to accomplish many things and make it through those tough things. I realized that I needed to believe in myself, and as my confidence grew, so did my opportunities and my successes. Younger me would not have had the confidence to even give this speech to you guys today. You are all capable of accomplishing so many amazing things, and every single one of you has the potential to be extraordinary, so believe in yourselves. This quote has assisted me greatly in helping to boost my confidence, and it goes like this. Just believe in yourself, even if you don't, pretend that you do, and eventually, you will. Serena Williams. Believe in yourself, your talents, and your abilities, because with that confidence, you've already wanted anything and everything that you do. Thank you all very much, and I wish you the best in the future. Good morning. I am Mr. Householder. I'm Jen Stewart, Assistant Principal at Talmadge High School, and I am honored to introduce our Senior Distinguished Scholars. Sarah Carter. John McNutt. Mackenzie Moran. Thomas Nyman.
Olivia Oblock. Camden Pellucci. Carmen Scasio. Anna Cecil. <laughs> Eric Solomon. Ava Uptograf. And Ellie Zoller. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Shannon Kavori. I'm a senior here at Talmadge. And once again, I would like to thank everyone for being present today to celebrate all the amazing distinguished scholars that we have here at THS. Before our 2021 ceremony comes to a close, I would like to commend these students for their exceptional drive and ambition throughout the school year. I know that you all put so much time and energy into your work, and it will certainly not go unnoticed. A piece of advice that I would like to leave with you today is that it's okay to give yourself a break and to recognize your accomplishments. As someone who has been a part of this group of individuals for the past four years, I can say with confidence that many of us struggle with something called imposter syndrome. A quick Google search will define this as a persistent feeling of inadequacy despite externally evident success. Since early elementary school, we have been praised for our grades and for our achievements, and because of this, we put extra pressure on ourselves to strive for a perfection that we know realistically cannot be achieved. It is unfair to yourself to put yourself to a higher standard than you would hold anyone else to. And it can even be damaging to your mental health in the long run. It can feel overwhelming to be considered a role model for your peers when you feel like you haven't done anything more than they have. It's not always easy to dismiss these feelings, but I can assure you that you are here for a reason today. Through sports, work, other extracurriculars, and even a pandemic, you have managed to stay determined and dedicated, and you strive to put your best foot forward even when you don't feel like it. You take pride in the work you create, and it definitely shows in the quality. So as we close our Distinguished Scholars Ceremony today, I would encourage you to think about all the reasons that you have been selected for this amazing achievement. You were not named a Distinguished Scholar because of all the ways that you may have gone wrong, but because of all the admirable accomplishments that you have achieved throughout your academic career. So congratulations on this amazing honor. Thank you.